It's been a tough stretch for the UTEP football team as of late. In fact, the Miners have the longest losing streak in the nation, now at 16 games. But should fans be looking past all the losing with the new coaching staff in place? KTSM Sports Director Andy Morgan, who is also the play-by-play -play man for the Miners, joins us now in the studio. Andy. Well, the first thing you need to know about head coach Dana Dimmel, he's not going to flinch. He expected a better start to this UTEP football season, and even though he's a couple seasons away from having his guys in the system, he's not giving up on this year's Miners team. I sat down with Coach Dimmel earlier today, and I'll say this, his demeanor, it's never wavered. Coach, I know uh, last night in the Battle of I-10, not the result that you obviously wanted against a rival in New Mexico State. Um, now that you've had a chance to look at the film, kind of see what you did right, what you did wrong, how would you characterize this game? Yeah, you know, I've watched the film a couple times now, and the heartache of the loss is sinking in. You know, it does sink in the night after the game, but the next day it's even harder. And we did so many things really, really well, and I saw the most positive body language I've seen from my football team since I've been here. Last night you talked a lot about this team learning to win. How much of that actually plays a role? Because, you know, maybe from an outsider's perspective, it's just like, maybe, wait, learn how to win. Yeah. But that does play a big role, does it not? Especially when you have a team who's, you know, lost over the last couple of years. Yeah, you know, we're trying to, you know, get our team on track right now and learn how to win, Andy. And that's really important as a coach. And they want to win so bad. And I see the emotion and the passion that they're playing with. And I care about these guys so much. You know, this team that I have now, I care about them. I want, I want to win so badly for the seniors. And I see them doing the things to help us get to the point where we're going to win some football games. And that's what I'm excited about. So for fans that, uh, that all they see is 0-16 over the last couple seasons in, in, in football and haven't gotten a win since you know, November of 2016, do they need to look past all of that? when you're rebuilding a program like you are? I like the spirit. I can really see, Andy, that the, like I've always said, there's a lot of passion for UTEP football. Now, I understand, you know, right now they're, they're saying, hey, you know, we want you to come in and get it done right away. Some people do, but, the, you know, I really, I really do feel like most of our fans understand the process. They know that it's all about us teaching these guys how to win this season. Some of this stretch and adversity that they're facing right now, I know there's a lesson to be learned. What is that lesson? There's a great lesson to be learned, and, and uh, I told him about it on Friday night before the game, is if uh, you know, you're going to be a good parent, a good uh, husband, you got to be able to handle adversity. You can't be a person that tucks your head because your relationships, your, your partner in your relationships going to look at you if things go bad and you tuck your head or your kids are going to look at you if you're a father someday and, and things are going bad and they come home and dad's in the tank, you know. You got to be that guy that takes adversity and handles it really well. Coach, thank you for taking the time and, and talking a little X's and O's with us about this UTEP football team and best of luck uh, next week at UTSA. Thanks for having me, Andy. I appreciate it. It's always good to spend time with you, and you do a great job. Appreciate your time. Nothing but positivity, and that brings up another question. How does head coach Dana Dimmel remain so positive and upbeat about this football team? I'll have the answer for you just a little bit later in sports. Back to you.